channel my name is Renu Cherian and in today's video I kind of wanted to do an ultimate ultimate self-care video I absolutely love self-care and so for me this video is like a dream to film because I absolutely love doing everything that I'm gonna be doing in today's videos so yeah we're gonna be doing nails we're gonna be having like an amazing bath with like bath bombs and like a bubble bath and like I'm also making like some really good like dark chocolate cookies and so um, yeah let's get into all of this also we're gonna just like ignore Misty decided not to like leave us yet and so um yeah we're just gonna end it at that but i'm gonna be starting with my brows i definitely need to like you know shave them and also i'm gonna be showing you like the most life-changing thing that i've ever like come across when it comes to my brows so let's start with like shaping them so what i'm gonna be using for this is um to like get like the perfect shape i'm gonna be taking like a piece of string first and then i'm also taking like a this is like one of my old eyeliners that I have and I'm just gonna like draw on the eyeliner so that when I stamp it onto my eyes and basically my eyebrows you will kind of like get the shape that you want and then you can like create the shape so just taking this taking like my eyeliner and just drawing it on top so now that that's done just take basically the string and then just like stamp it wherever you want like your eyeliner to go so so i know that this looks like really weird but we're gonna replicate the same thing on the other side um, this is just to give like an idea where to like go with the um, like razor. Now that I've like basically done both my brows, you can see the shape that I want to kind of like create. I know that this looks super weird, but this helps in just like, you know, kind of just like outlining where you want your razor to go. And this is just like, I just feel like it helps me a lot. And so you can obviously go a little bit lower and after, um, you can obviously once you're done doing one brow and you feel like not happy with like just like a little bit of the shape you can just like correct it afterwards but this at least gives you like a big shape and i would also always say that um where you want your brow to go just maybe put it like ever so slightly a little bit higher so that you have a little bit of like a buffer area where your razor goes and so it just like helps a lot and just like you know in case you make a mistake you don't want it to be too close to where you are your eyebrows are going so that it'll it will just like then make your brows too thin so we don't want that to happen i'm gonna be using uh, this aloe vera gel so and i'm just gonna be putting it right over my brows so what this would do it just gives it would just give the um, razor a little bit of like a slip to like you know so that it's easier to like just like shave through so now we're gonna go in with the razor. The razor that I'm using is by Gillette. This one is just the, the I think it's just like the normal um, shaving razor. Um, these are like really good. I absolutely love these. These, I mean, they're just like sharp and they like just do your the job perfectly. So definitely recommend these. Okay, so I'm done with both my brows and they look pretty decently shaped I would say they're not like the best brows I've done but you know what it's okay um, but yeah so we're done with like the shaping of the brows but now for the fun part and this is like the most life-changing thing that I've ever done and that is tinting my brows I have never seen a better hack in making my brows look so good and that's by tinting my brows and the brow tint that I got is by Artel and I got this off of Amazon and it's in the shade dark brown and I love the way that this just feels on my brows after like you know just the tint that it gives it's like the perfect tint and I know that you know I just follow the instructions that's written on the back and I just like do that and I know it's said that 
um you need to leave it on for at least like i think 10 minutes but i usually just leave it on for five and then if i want it a little more i i put on like the rest again just a little bit for and leave it on for like a minute or two okay so i've basically mixed my dye and i'm gonna be using um this brush to like apply it on my brows uh it's kind of like a small like angled brush um yeah so i'm just gonna be taking just like a little bit and like applying on my brows and i'm just gonna wait for like around five to six minutes i'm not gonna wait the entire 10 minutes because i feel like the 10 minutes one just makes my brows like too intense i don't want it to be that intense but um i just like more i'm more of a person who goes for like a very natural look so i usually leave it on for just like um around like five to six seven maybe seven minutes but we're not gonna go the whole 10. Okay, so basically done applying it to both the brows. Just gonna wait for ten minutes, uh, for five to six minutes. Also, after like five minutes, I'm gonna be the the front to like the very inner corner part of the brows. I'm gonna like remove the dye from that first because I don't want the intense part to be near the scent, like the initial part of the brows. So I'm just gonna remove the dye from there first, and then I'm gonna like. Uh, wait for like a minute or two and then like wipe the rest off okay so I've taken on the dye completely and you can already see like my brows look like they're filled in and I love just the way that it feels now I mean it just looks like you know you naturally have like thick lashes which is kind of what I was going like thick brows which is kind of what I was going for and yeah I feel like it's come out like really well okay so now that we're done with the brows we're going in with the nails um I feel like after doing the brows I already feel like a new woman like hello <laughs> anyways I'm going to do my nails it's definitely time to like cut it I'm first of all I'm like a person who does not like long nails I'm not a long nail person it's not for me I like it like super short like very very short and also the color that I'm gonna be using today is this one this is such a good like um, I think on camera it comes out a little more red but it's more like a purpley mauve color it's basically the shade Malaga wine from OPI um, I just love how richly purpley mauve red this is and I feel like this is such a great color for fall um, so yeah definitely gonna be using this uh, but yeah I'm also gonna be just like you know um, cutting my nails filing them and just like um, then just like going in with the nail color this color I actually I mean on camera it comes out a bit lighter than it is it's a little more like deeper like plum red is what I would say this color is let me see if we can get a better angle of this one this is the color still kind of like lighter than what it actually is but yeah I'm super happy with it um, I just love like a nice like you know short nail which is like um colored so yeah this is like good to me i did the best i could i hate doing um nail polish on my right hand it's always a little bit messier than the one but uh yeah also um i'm not really good at like doing nails like, or like nail polish in general it's just i just like the look of it even though i suck at doing it but um yeah 
Anyways, uh, now that my nails are done and we've done our brows, we've done our nails, uh, the next thing that I want to do is a face mask. A self-care day is not complete without a face mask. Like, it's just not possible. So yeah, let's go do a little bit of a face mask. Okay, so the mask that I'm going to be using today is this clay mask. This is by Innisfree. I have used this before and I love the way that my skin feels after using this. It's such a good clay mask. You can get it on Sephora and it's just like so good. So yeah, I'm going to be using this. Okay, so I'm done putting the mask. I'm just going to like leave it on for like just until it like dries up and then I'm just going to wash my face. And then I kind of want to like bake these like really good like dark chocolate cookies that I saw on Instagram and they just look so good. They're just like ooey gooey delicious like amazing cookies. Like I'll show you a video like right here. good i love i, I just want to like make these so so once the face mask like dries clean it and then on to cookies so i'm done taking off my mask you can instantly instantly see that there's like a little bit of a glow and like i just feel like my skin has just become like clearer so yeah anyways time for cookies i'm so excited i just i've I've seen this video like multiple times on Instagram and I'm so excited to like cook these so let's go. Okay, so I've let the cookies rest for a while and now I'm just like so excited to break open one cookie just to see if it's that ooey gooey thing. So, ta-da! Okay, let's see. Oh my god. I don't know if you can see. It has that like ooey gooey texture. It's there. Oh my god. It is a soft cookie, but... Mm. Oh my god. So good. This is so good. Okay, so my cookies are done. They're not as aesthetic as like the ones which I saw in my inspo. Uh, but they taste like really good. They taste exactly like how you would imagine a brownie cookie would taste like. Like, it's too good. Like... Please try out this recipe if you do have time. Like, it's so simple and it's like really easy to make it and like really quick. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm not gonna eat those cookies right now. I'm actually gonna draw myself a bath, a little bubble bath with like a bath bomb and like, you know, the whole shebang, like candles, everything. We're gonna go for that. And so, um, yeah, I'm gonna like draw that bath right now. Okay, so for my bubbles in the bubble bath, I'm using this one. This is the Dr. Teal's. Uh, foaming bath um, and it's in the flavor what do you say? flavor like fragrance lavender fragrance 
uh, but yeah this one is so good i love this um i mean just the smell of lavender like lavender is like one of my favorite scents and so this in a bubble bath amazing i'm also using like a couple of bath bombs so i have this one it's in the shape of this like really cute heart and i got this from whole foods and this is in the scent scent that was the word not fragrance or flavor scent so this is in the scent jasmine gardenia and it smells so good already like i can smell it even though it's like wrapped in this like plasticky thing it smells so good but yeah i also have a one or bath bomb i got this like set from amazon and um i've used up basically all of the scents in there except one so if i can just like get okay so it is this one that's left it's in the shape of like a little cupcake which is so cute like look at that ah! anyways yeah so i'm probably gonna be using this as well i mean it's just like the only bathroom that's left in that whole set and so it comes in like these like six different um scents and this is the one that i still have so this one is the mango tango and it's in the like scent mango and papaya scent and the benefits of it is moisturizing and nourishing we need that and uh it contains like mango seed butter and papaya powder mm, nice okay so we're gonna be drawing a bath using these two bath bombs and also this little one. Oh, this one you can really see the color coming. out of the shower now um also had my hair wash day today um but yes i am going to do my skincare routine now basically done with my skincare as well as my hair care um i have like a detailed video on how i do my hair care so i'll link it down in the description but um yeah i am so happy with my entire self-care day today i mean i just wanted like i'm just so happy that i took like a day for myself and you know just did all the things that i absolutely love to do and um yeah i thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed like my bath and like those like brownie cookies definitely give that recipe a go and also brows looking fly but yeah anyways thank you guys so much for watching this video if you liked it make sure to give it a thumbs up like comment share and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next one bye everyone